Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Omega Speedmaster Professional Apollo 11 20th Anniversary Limited Edition of 2000. You can see and you can purchase this Moonwatch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this 20th anniversary Omega Speedmaster Professional looks almost identical to the same watches as qualified for NASA space flight in 1969. Now of course it was the column wheel, not the cam version of the Speedmaster Professional that was aboard Apollo 11, but this watch, true to NASA issue during the 1970s, was issued in 1989 still flight qualified as it is to this day to celebrate 20 years since Apollo 11 and for that occasion 2000 were made for the US market and you can see this is one of the less common US market versions and 4000 were made for international markets. Now this watch 42 millimeters is the classic profile of the moon watch. Of course, I mentioned the watch hardly changed over time. So 42 millimeters is the distance across the round of the case from nine to three, not including the crown guards or crown. The watch is reasonably thick, but not excessively. At 14.5 millimeters, this largely due to the thickness of the domed acrylic plexiglass crystal. Now from lug to lug, the watch is reasonably compact, 48 millimeters from lug to lug. It's a vintage style watch that wears with enough modern wrist presence that you'll never feel it's undersized, even on a big forearm. And this watch is paired with a beautiful Kevlar and calf strap, very tough, and its textile aesthetic nicely matches the black tachymetric scale and the matte original black tritium dial. You can see the age of the tritium over time, unrefinished. It's turned a beautiful off-white, even acru. And the watch has the aesthetic of a survivor. Not so much a restoration, not a safe queen, just a beautiful survivor. And it's interesting to think that now 1989 is more distant to us from a vintage sense than 1969 was in the era this watch was issued. Now you can see simple pin buckle for quick and easy adjustment on the wrist. And underneath the classic inscription, of course, flight qualified by NASA for manned space missions, the first watch born on the moon, or worn on the moon, I should say. And speaking of the era in which the watch was born, you can see the hippocampus. You might wonder why there's a Seamaster logo on the back of a Speedmaster, and that's because the watch was, to use that word again, born in the late 1950s, 1957 specifically, as part of the Seamaster water-resistant watch family, hence the family resemblance on the case back. Now, the dial of the watch is simple. Tricompax chronograph, you have your civil time hours, minutes, and seconds, and then you have your chronograph hours, minutes, and seconds. Inside the case, you have the Omega Caliber 861 based on the Le Mania 1873. It has 17 jewels in this older pre-1993 iteration. Cam operated with a horizontal clutch. It's renowned for its toughness, and that remains the reason why NASA chose it. This is the kind of watch that truly can take a licking and keep on ticking. Now, of course, the architecture is robust, and being a manually wound watch, it's a pleasure to wind, and that's that's a pleasant departure from many manually wound watches because with a 48 hour power reserve, you should wind this one daily, always at the same time to assure isochronism, but some manually winding watches just aren't a pleasure in the hand. And I'm happy to say that the Lemania based caliber here absolutely is still tough as nails after all these years. It remains crisp and responsive in the hand. This is a handsome watch, a classic watch. One might even say one of the immortals up there with the likes of Patek Philippe's Calatrava, Breitling's Navitimer, Rolex's Submariner. This is the icon of Omega, and if you were to put just one Omega watch in a time capsule, perhaps if you were to put just one mechanical watch, barring all others, in a time capsule, this would be perhaps the choice that would find the least contest and contention among watch enthusiasts. Arguably the ultimate mechanical watch and very accessible in spite of that. The Omega Speedmaster Professional Moon Watch in this case has just a little bit of extra elan and distinction thanks to that limited series and anniversary status. You can see this beautifully patinaed 20th anniversary limited edition Omega Speedmaster Professional and purchase it on our website.